I'm Patrick Capiello, wine director at Rebel Restaurant in New York City, Eater National, and Food and Wine Magazine's Sommelier of the Year. And today, I'm gonna blind taste cheap sparkling wines. When I'm tasting sparkling wines, I'm looking for the same things that I'm looking for with still wines, but obviously with the addition of bubbles. Those bubbles can range in intensity and size, but in the end, if the wine's no good, it doesn't matter how many bubbles are in it, it's probably not gonna be any good. All right. Well, it smells like it might be made from grapes. It's very, it's pretty aggressively bubbly. It makes me wonder how the bubbles got in there. It's very sweet. Wow, it's super sweet. It's too bubbly. <laughs> too bubbly and too sweet. It has kind of a creamy, sweet texture with acidity, but disjointed. Yeah, that's like an F. For sure it's an F. If I had to guess the grape, Concord. <laughs> ah, Cooks. <laughs> okay, it's California champagne, it says right there. Oh my God, wow. Brut is supposed to be dry. They misunderstood what it means. Like it has a scale of Brut Grand Reserve, Brut Extra Dry, Sweet Rosé. So none of these things are real wine terms. They basically took every tradition of making sparkling wine all over the rest of the world and bastardized it. All right. Oh wow. I mean, this smells like a, like a Moscato, but like real Moscato, like Moscato that you would get from Italy, which is a traditional sparkling wine from Italy that is supposed to be sweet. It tends to be more favored for dessert, and it smells a lot like that. I guess it smells kind of like honey, actually, a lot like honey. Not ter it doesn't smell terrible, it just smells like it's gonna be sweet. It tastes like a wine that is sweet because it's supposed to taste sweet, not a wine that tastes sweet because they made it sweet. It's not terrible. The bubbles are super fine. There's good acidity there that's balanced out as well. It's more of a dessert wine, but it's well-constructed, well-balanced, and I think it speaks of a certain style of wine. I'm gonna give it a B plus. Oh my God, that's awesome. Wow, I'm actually very happy about this because this is like old school, 1863. I bet this wine tasted the same in 1863 as it does now, and that's super cool. Martini and Rossi, Ossi Spumanti, man, awesome made from the finest Moscato Bianco grapes. Moscato, I nailed it, nailed it. That's OG right there. All right. <laughs> it smells like banana now and laters. Very tropical. Pineapple, banana, there's some like, per like perfumed kind of floral notes. It's very aromatic, like extraordinarily aromatic. And it tastes nothing like it smells. It's just like all acid. There's some sugar there for sure, but it's like flavor bursts and it's gone immediately. Just like tapers right off. Cause when you smell it, you think it's gonna be extraordinarily sweet, but then when you taste it, it's really, really dry. That's like a D minus. It's really close to an F, but not quite there. Trader Joe's. Oh yeah, yeah, I didn't even know they made sparkling wine. How did I not know all these sparkling wines existed? French sparkling wine. I can't believe it comes from France. Not that they only make great wine in France, but that somebody would have paid to have this brought here from France. They should have left it there. Thanks, France. This looks kind of normal. Oh my God, it smells like peach schnapps. Yeah, it smells like candy, like almost gummy bears. Wow, that's really weird. This is gonna be really fucking sweet too, I know it. It's actually not as sweet as I thought it was gonna be. It's still very fruity and uh, it's like bitter. It's almost like Sour Patch Kids, like where it's super fruity and then super tart. And it's like they went out of their way to make it extra sparkling. Your mouth like fills up with gas. There's definitely some sweetness there, but it's like sour. That's also terrible. I also wanna, I'm gonna give that an F too. That's an F. I would never drink this. I would never, this is punishment to make somebody drink this. If I had to guess, I would say it's a sparkling Riesling from someplace that shouldn't be making wine. Oh man, wow. Sophia from Francis Coppola. Coppola crushes it again. Man, oh man, that guy is gonna absolutely murder me at some point. I hate shitting on your wines, Francis, but you make it so easy. Something was definitely lost in translation here though. <laughs> this one seems to be retaining its frothy head, which is scary. Oh man. Again, this one smells like candy. Medium sweet if there's such a thing, but fully terrible. Again, there's something unnatural about the bubbles in this in this thing. It maybe it went through a soda stream. And again, acid level is really high. It's so strange with these wines that they're just aggressive on both sides. Super sweet, super high acid. It's not as bad as we've seen so far, so therefore I don't wanna give it an F. So I'm gonna give it a D. Oh yes, 
This one I've heard of before, Corbell. No, Method Champenois, which is definitely a lie. There's no way this is made with Method Champenois. Come on, for 15 bucks? I've never been happier to have the last glass. Yeah, I mean, that smells like wine. That smells, I'm not afraid to put this in my mouth. It smells like pear, like ripe pear. It's not delicious, but it's dry, which is great. There's no sugar at all in that. That's very, very dry. Not bad at all, actually. I mean, I would give that, in the realm of what I've seen so far, a B. Oh, nice, okay. Piper Sonoma, that makes sense. It says here that it's perfect for mimosas or French 75s. I kind of respect that, the fact that they're willing to admit that their inexpensive sparkling wine might be better off in a cocktail than it is in a wine glass. For a dry sparkling wine that's affordable, I think you could do worse. So I think we learned a lot of things today. First of all, that it's hard to find good value in the sparkling wine genre. Most sparkling wines are expensive for a reason. There's a few more steps that go into making sparkling wine. And if corners are cut and they're just going for the end result of getting bubbles in it, sometimes you're gonna sacrifice some of the other things about it that make wine great or they make a wine delicious to drink. So there's no doubt that this is the winner for today. And what I learned today is that even though I think that I don't like sweet wines, I actually do. But the difference here is quality. And as much as I like finding great value in wine, with sparkling wines, it might be worth spending just a little bit more or just skipping it all together. From Playboy.com, I'm Patrick Capiello. For more videos of me being tortured with crap wine, push the subscribe button right there.